Hey everyone, it's me, Ethan here, back at it again with another video, and today we're going to be doing a, another LEGO building session where I, of course, do a speed build of building certain LEGO sets, particularly Star Wars and, of course, Brickmania, and so that's what we're going to do today, and speaking of which, before we start this video, guys, I want to wish you a Happy New Year, and I want to thank you guys, all who have subscribed so far, for your support and everything that you've provided, so with that said, guys, Let's actually get right into the video. All right, so the first thing we'll start off is the box. Again, I'm gonna go short on this. So here we have, I guess, the front of it. So you get to see the front of the tank as well as the minifigure that it comes with. You can see it's a skill level of three. And of course it has the Italian flag. This is kit number 2176. And it contains 348 pieces. And again, one minifigure. Then we come to the back. This is, again, this is one of Brickmania's older box designs, which I still think is like one of their best box designs. I still wish they kind of used this design, but you know, things change, so it is what it is. But here you can see we have, again, a couple of bullet points telling you what it comes with, as well as what it can do, as well as some pictures showing that you can swivel the, take off the top of the turret and swivel the gun up and down, as well as the turret. And again, another picture of the minifigure. But with that said, guys, that pretty much wraps up the box. But before we go any further into this video, I want to let you guys know, again, if you are new to the channel and so far you're liking what you're seeing, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as hit the subscribe button and notification bell to be notified when another video comes out. But with that said, guys, let's get right into the building. And I totally forgot about this, but this is a major thing we need. And that is brick separators. I totally forgot about these things all the time, but here we go. So here we're going to just pick this one here that we first saw on the screen. And this is what we're going to use in case I have a mistake when I'm building. So with that said, let's go to the actual building once again. Alright guys, so here it is. Here is the Carl Amato uh, Italian medium tank that Brickman has made. More, should I say, made by Cody Cell, even though it is affiliated by Brickmania. As you can see, a pretty cool little tank. I think a uh, very easy build for if you are a beginner. Sadly though, it has been long sold out because this set came out back in, or kit came out during 2018. So that was like, it's going on three years here now. But as you can see, it's a pretty cool little tank. 
In the front here, you got a little chain that has some hooks here. So if you wanna make a mock of another little tank here, pulling out this one, you sure can, because this chain's included. Uh, and then as we come up to the hull here, you can see we have two hull machine guns, or hull mounted machine guns mostly, here in the front, as well as the viewport for the actual driver. And then as we come around here, you can see the suspension as well as the tracks, which are on both sides, again, Gonna be the same on both sides but here you can see we have there's a semi working suspension here just the way how it's designed under here um it kind of is allowed to do that but the only issue what's really causing it not to are the springs up here or they're really supposed to be springs in real life but just this arch piece up here is causing those wheels down here not to move uh the, the tracks do move pretty nicely but it's got to be on a certain surface like this surface right here, can't do anything just because the tracks aren't giving grip. But as you can see, moving them around my hand here, they both do work pretty nicely. And so as we come to the back here, you see we have two exhausts. We have some tools up here. You got a shovel and an axe in case you need to dig out, uh, dig the tracks out or dig the tank out of something or even dig a hole to put the tank in. And then uh, here you can see also the back of the tracks as well. Not that much going on back here on the back of the turret here. Since we're back here, you can see we have this nice little um, desert flag, I guess, that Italy used to identify their tanks. Uh, over here again, nothing really going on on this side. Got some sloping over here. And then we come back to the side over here. You can see we have an actual hatch slash uh, that or exit hatch, which is a hatch mostly, where your the hull crew can go in and out of. And then you can close that up. It's pretty nice in there. And then you can also open up the actual hatch for the tank commander. And you can put the tank commander in there. And again, he's got some nice room in there. He's got a really good amount of room in there. So you can actually have him sitting down. Now I'm going to just have him standing up for a bit. Oh, let's, move, let's fix this, actually. There we go. So now he's sitting up in the tank like that. So again, you can make him where he stands up too if you want. But I think... When uh, he's sitting, he looks actually more like he's in the tank. Um, there is some nice elevation as well as depression, even though there's way more depression in the gun than there is for elevation. So I think the elevation's a bit more accurate compared to the depression. But as you can see, if you want to make your tank sad, there you go. Yeah, a sad little tank. And then uh, one thing I forgot to mention too is that you can actually take off the, you can take this off right here. Uh, this isn't supposed to come off, but it just popped off. And then you can actually fit a, a Lego guy or a crew member in there, which is what we're going to do now. Now, when you do this, though, you're going to want to kind of put the guy at an angle like that, just because there's not that much room. Yeah, you can have to even do it further. You're not going to be able to see it, but here we go. We're going to make this work now. So what I mean by you got to put your guy at an angle, you got to put him like this, just because of how much headroom there is. There's literally nothing in there. And then you can close it on him, and there you go. So now you got a crew member that's actually inside a tank. Um, you can't really see him in there, but he's in there, which is cool. So now you have it where if you get another extra figure for your Italian side, if you want, you can put him on the top here. And you got a crew of two. Even though I think this tank had a crew of maybe four to three, I believe. Something like that. It's just not, it's not that big of a tank, honestly. But there it is, guys. So there's the overall review on that. So now what we're going to do is now take it over and tell you if it's worth getting. So again, guys, here it is. My overall re uh, thoughts on it, though. I definitely think if you are wanting to pick up the set, definitely go ahead for it. Uh, your chances, though, of finding it like this, where it's got everything, the box, instructions, uh, I don't know. Because I was looking on eBay, I could not find any listing for this that's from Brickmania. All I could find were the actual plastic models, which kind of sucks. But you know what? It is what it is. But like I said, if you know someone who actually has the set, who might just want to sell you the instructions or actually sell you the whole set, go ahead and ask them. But mostly with that side, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you are new to the channel, before I forget this, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that thumbs up uh, button as well as turn on the notification bell and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below on what your favorite Brickmania set is. But with that said, guys...
I'll see you in the next one. But also, guys, don't forget, when you're building your Legos, don't forget your brick separators. With that said, guys, I'll see you next time.